I'm Darren Parkin, I'm the editor of the Coventry Telegraph. I've been editor for almost three years. Um, before that, I was editor of the, the Weekly's operation uh, for Coventry and Warwickshire. The role of being the editor of the, the Coventry Telegraph um, has a strange effect on, uh, on your life. I, I just do not switch off. It is 24-7, and I think the only time you're not working or thinking about work is when you're asleep. I think a local newspaper, particularly in, in years gone by, has always been viewed as the, the glue that holds the community together. Um, it's, it's always been the traditional source of information for an, an area and Coventry in particular has been very well blessed with this newspaper that's been here for over a hundred years um, you know, and I'm proud to be the current custodian of it. It's, it's incredibly exciting to know that when you wake up you don't really know what the day holds for you and I'll give you an example from last week when I was just getting ready to leave and go home and uh, suddenly <laughs> all the windows shook and someone screamed in the office and we thought there'd been a boiler explosion here. We were going to evacuate the building, we were looking around and then discovered that it had actually been an explosion that was heard in other parts of the city and then we found out in other parts of the county. I was actually on the phone to the MOD um, 45 minutes after the, um, the noise when the confirmation came through and he actually said, oh, it was a sonic boom. And it was just incredible to, to think that I was just about to leave the office and, and I would have probably missed out on all that and Duncan would have had to do it all on his own. And it's, I didn't sleep well that night because I was still smiling. I still had a massive buzz from the, from the atmosphere in the office. It was amazing. The role that the Telegraph has um, locally is, is fairly key to people's lives and I think the, the best way that we enact this is that we know we're a local newspaper. We don't pretend to be anything else because that's our role in society is to be the local newspaper. Therefore, keep it local. It is inevitable that newspapers are, are moving towards a digital age and with that you need many eyes and ears. And I like to think that this programme that we've got at the minute of bringing students in, um, the journalism students in here, to actually experience the newsroom and act, do some work for us and, and interact in that way, I think is a great insight for people to see how this industry works and not be frightened of it. In terms of how easy it is to get a job in the, the media these days, it is incredibly difficult and it always has been a, a difficult thing to achieve, but it's even more so now. Having said that, we still do, when, when a vacancy arises, we still look at um, young reporters and you're looking for certain gifts that people might have and I always look for the things that you can't teach someone. The digital age is something that intrigues me greatly and because I'm relatively young in this position, um, I think I'm in, a, I'm in a good place to, to help us steer, steer the right track. But at the minute, of course, with digital media, it isn't paying the bills. Right? Print advertising is still where we make our money. Digital advertising is something that we have to catch up on, and all newspapers need to catch up on and, and catch up very quickly, because I suspect that we're all, we've all got our feet on this line, and every newspaper is just looking at each other and thinking, well, go on then, who's going to be the first to cross that line? Who's going to be digital first? And the, the gutsy bravado Indiana Jones in me wants to be the first one to do that. But if you get it wrong, you get it spectacularly wrong. And I think that's the fear that all newspapers have. And that's why they want one person to step forward and do it first. And either, either be a hero or be a sacrificial lamb. So I'm not sure which one I want to be yet.